Welcome back to our YouTube series, Quick Vocal Exercises. And in this episode today, I'm gonna to be answering a singing question from one of our Get Booked members. So this entire series, every week, I will come onto YouTube and share a new video, either vocal exercise that's been requested from one of our Get Booked members, or answer a singing question. And today I'm answering a singing question. So the question that was asked by one of our members is, do you think it's better to know your vocal range or to know your vocal part, i.e. tenor, soprano, bass, mezzo? Let's answer this question, let's dive in. So, without a shadow of a doubt, knowing your vocal range as a musical theatre performer is going to be far more useful to you and everyone that you're auditioning for, everyone you're working with, than knowing your vocal type or part or whatever you want to call it, putting yourself in that voice box. That, you know, soprano, mezzo, alto, bass, baritone, tenor, whatever um, voice part, or voice type you put yourself into, that doesn't really tell us much about your voice. It maybe just tells us a bit about the quality of your voice, where you might fit if we wanna put you in an ensemble harmony piece, but it doesn't really give us the information that we really need to know, which is, can you sing the songs? This role, this show requires you to sing. Can you hit the notes you need to be able to hit? Whereas when you've put your vocal range or you know your vocal range, like you know your phone number or your address, you, for us, you know, for, for casting, for you, for creatives, you know, your musical director, they are going to find that so much more useful because they know, yes, they've got the vocal range to hit these notes or to not hit these notes. So it's definitely far better to know, okay, I sing from an E3 to a C6 and I belt to a D5, for example, that's much better than knowing, okay, I'm a mezzo. Because that is so vague, it's so vague. Whereas when you know your vocal range, it's super specific. We know where you can sing down to, we know where you can sing up to, and we know where you can belt or mix to. This is massively in the musical theatre world. Uh, this is massively used, sorry, in the musical theatre world. And I think this is something that A, you should definitely have on your CV and B, you should know. If someone says to you, what's your vocal range? You should be able to answer like that rather than going, um, I think it's, uh, in my opinion, as a singer, as a singer, actor, as a leading lady, as a lead role performer, you gotta know your vocal range. That is like someone saying to you, and um, where do you live? And you're like, oh, um, oh, it's uh, this house down a road. Like you just look like a Wally. You need to know. You need to know your vocal range. Vocal part is far less important because I also think we can. We're very interchangeable as well unless you're really specifically something i think in the opera in the classical world and in the choral world voice parts types you know labels are useful in the musical theater world know your vocal range that's the most important thing if you enjoyed this episode, then make sure that you leave me a comment below. Let me know that you have watched it. And if you're inside of the Get Booked membership, make sure you submit your questions because I will be answering one each week. I'll be answering a different question or a different vocal exercise request each week. So make sure you get your submissions in. If you're not inside of the Get Booked membership and you want to ask a question, then get inside. Where have you been? And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any following videos. I'll see you on the next episode.